Hello everyone, thank you for joining us wherever you are. Angulo from Jadi PNS will be your host. Now we are with Gabriela Gavarete. She's a 2022 forest restoration steward by the Global Landscapes Forum from San Salvador in El Salvador. Hello, Gabriela, how are you? Hi, Gulo. I'm very good, thank you. And I'm very excited to be in your channel today. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, you're very welcome. And thank you so much also for joining us. And we're really excited to have you here. And Gabriela, when and were you, when you first realized you wanted to fight for nature in El Salvador? Well, since I was a child, I was always very curious about nature. And my grandmother used to teach me a lot about trees and animals. Um, she has like a lot of knowledge about uh, their generations. And she passed it to my parents and then my parents teach me. So um, I wanted to be a scientist and I started to start, study biology in the University of El Salvador. Wow. And I'm currently in my last year. So wow. in this career, um, I was allowed to understand like everything that I admired as a child. Um, I unfortunately, um, the situation of the environment in my country it's very, very like, sad. And many ecosystems are degraded and we are one of the most deforested countries in the region. So my research are focused on eco ecology and also conservation, but mm -hmm. my project in restoration mm -hmm. was born of this necessity of a good management for forests. So I decided to fight for nature and I find the support in Global Landscape Forum and the organization that I joined that is Umpumon Mass. So I wanted to make it real and I'm trying to do it. Wow, that's amazing. And yes. in your very young age, how do you tell your community and youth around you to restore the ecosystem in El Salvador? Well, um, First, I think that we have to do like an example for young people. So we can show them that there's always a way to achieve their goals or accomplish their dreams. I mean, I, I'm excited to be like a guide for young people that wanted to involve in this um, restoration process. Mm -hmm. So I'm always trying to encourage them that they can get out from the comfort zone and participate in positive initiatives. Like I try to share in my social media, like mm -hmm. information about it or connect with other initiatives that are around me that I support. Mm -hmm. And so I, I really think that young people have a potential to be like a big change. And we just try, we just have to be like, their guide and their um, inspiration. Wow, that's, that's amazing how you advocate for the restoration the ecosystem to social media and other channels. And you're also currently joining Unpulmon Must. What kind of organization is it and why are you doing that? Well, this organization is a youth organization. I mean, uh, um, all the people that are in Pugon Mass are young people. And it was created to restore Cerro Tecana in 2016. Mm -hmm. And the activities that they made before was like eco hiking and cleanups and also like planting trees. But right now we are like working on a restoration process that is more complex. And I'm I'm currently coordinating um, the Suma Un Bosque project mm -hmm. that is, is like um, a project to prevent forest fires. That is one of the principal, like the main um, causes of uh, loss of that biodiversity and forest cover. So we are like planting native trees. We are also creating a community nursery, uh, like 
from seeds from the forest. And all these activities are involving the community in the process. So yes, this, this is like the work that we're doing right now. Wow, a great work in your busy time as a student. Wow. Yes, yes. But it's worth it. It's worth it. I mean, I, I really like it. Yeah, good for you. And Thank this you. year, in 2022, you were awarded as a forest restoration steward by the Global Landscapes Forum. What was that like? Well, that was amazing. I mean, El Salvador is a very small country and the initiatives in restoring are very like, very little, but I mean, this is a great opportunity to, to um, share about the country. Mm -hmm. And this has been like the best opportunity that I ever have had in my life. I mean, I'm learning one more than ever and it's given me the support that I needed to make my project um, a reality. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm also having the great opportunity to know people, to meet people around the world. I mean, I'm, I'm learning so much and I think that they are, they are like an inspiration for me to make a great um, impact in my, in my ecosystem. So I'm very excited about it. <laughs> That's amazing. And would you like to tell us like um, what restoring forests mean for you? Restoring forest for me is like not, not just planting trees. You know, maybe people think of think that that is like the solution, but to achieve restoration, there must be an exhaustive planning of the area. I mean, we have to do the research of the social and economic activities of the people living there. And also we have to involve many scientific uh, research. So it's a very exhausting planning. It's a very long process, but you know, forests are such a biodiverse ecosystem that we must think like about all the components and understand that the best strategies uh, for regeneration and conservation are around planning. Uh, like planning this, this strategy. And Gabriela, in your own opinions, how can you restore the forest? Well, um, many, people, many people say that we have to like educate child to, um, to take care of the future planet, but I have a big faith in young people because I think that the young people is the, is the present of our planet. So we have to take an action right now. We have like the big, um, the big compromise to share and educate the other people, but you have to understand that taking an action is the best thing that we have to achieve for the forest. Um, the, restoration, um, the restoration activities are born from ideas that are looking for a support. So um, people can start in the place where they live. I mean, you can identify a forest that is near to your home and you can start to participate in the activities maybe for the government or NGOs that have initiatives like ours. And, you know, uh, this is like the best thing for job people to restore forests, to become maybe an, a leader or maybe to look for a leader to, to follow their initiatives. Amazing. And what would be your message for you about forest? Well, my message is that forests are ecosystems that must be protected for everyone. I mean, every, anyone can participate from their communities. They can be part of monitoring wildlife, maybe, or where we can talk with the authorities for a good management, or we can minimize our impacts. I mean, 
forests are the principal biodiversity resource in our planet and in, in land ecosystems. And the important thing that it's, we have to understand that conserving and restoring forests also mean to improve people's quality of life. And it's part of our human rights to have a healthy environment. So I think that we all have to care about forests. We all have to care about nature. And taking an action is the best thing that we can make for our lives. Wow, 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 wow. Thank you so much, Gabriela from El Salvador for your inspiring story. <laughs> thank you for having me here. Yeah, and thank you everyone for joining us. Let's collaborate to make this world into a better place. I am Glow from GDPNS. Thank you and see you again. <laughs>